Well, hello, I'm a surgeon, and I'm also an island. <laughs> no, uh, I want you to imagine this. You had an amputation. Your leg was making you very sick. And it was either your leg or your life. So a good surgeon did the operation. It was very easy, quick. One of the many cases that day, the last case of the day, he said it went well. It went very well, actually. Except the one problem was that he caught the wrong leg. <laughs> so wrong side surgery. It's a never event because it should never happen, but it does happen. It happens every day. Actually, it happens 40 times a week in the U.S. and in other parts of the world. And not just that. 440,000 patients die every year due to preventable medical errors. It's the third leading cause of death in the United States. Heart is first, we know that. But third is this, preventable disease, errors that can be fixed. For the last 15 years, we've been working hard on trying to improve on this. And the progress has been very slow. Actual recent reports show that only 3.5% of the hospitals have made any progress at all. In Maine, we should be really proud because Maine is leading the way. It's the number one state in the country in regards to this safety revolution in healthcare. So we should be really, really proud. But overall, overall, we need to do better. We need to find systems and tools that allow us to achieve the goal of primum non nocere, first do no harm. One of the, the ways to do this is uh, checklists. Checklists, just like a pilot before he takes off, he checks and makes sure everything is okay before he goes. Checklists are a way to fix this. But we've been using them and they are not enough. Checklists we've been using, but we've been using systems that are decades old, systems that are almost pen and paper. We're doing it electronically now, but still the basic system is the same. It's not intuitive, it's not smart. So we need to find better systems. Wearable devices are a solution to make healthcare better and safer. Because the problem is the data gathering, how we access the data, the connection between the human and the data. So it's important that systems like this are applied into medicine to make the system, to make the system better. A wearable device is uh, something that is integrated into our body. Wearable computing devices represent the evolution in computer interfaces, connecting us humans to the digital world. Exponentially, this, they've been getting smaller, cheaper, faster, <laughs> cuter. <laughs> but it's not enough. I present to you Google Glass. It's a wearable device. It's a computer, a smartphone in front of your eyes. It's intuitive. It's smart. You can do anything you can do with a smartphone. You can make calls. You can text. You can tweet. You can search the net. And many other things. It allows you to integrate yourself into the digital world. Google Glass has the potential in healthcare to do incredible things. Glass has the potential to disrupt the way we do medicine, the way we use the data. Let the checklist come to us automatically, instantaneously, in a smart and intuitive way. Just like Dr. Topol said, the creative destruction of medicine. Because healthcare is in trouble, it's expensive, there are not enough doctors globally or locally. In healthcare, this is a short video of what it could happen. Integration of the record to glass. That's the view of the doctor on the right upper corner, the view on glass. So checklists alert you of things that could go wrong, remind you, remind you which side you need to operate on. Checklists are really important, and they can be integrated into the device for you. Alert you when something is going wrong. In a trauma situation, for example, imagine 
glass, reminding you of all the important pieces of information. Okay, glass, give me timeout info. Timeout complete. Okay, glass. Doing consultations in real time, okay, yeah, from glass that. to glass. Um, Where doctors use telemedicine the to connect to each other. You, uh, Giving the view of the surgeon to a group of medical students anywhere with the perspective of the surgeon on how to do the operation. Technology can help. Technology develops exponentially, but it's not really the technology. It's the idea behind the use of the technology that can solve the problem. An idea is important, but it's, it's use that is the main thing. Glass in healthcare has the potential only limited by our imagination. And like Albert and Pablo said, imagination is more important than knowledge. And creativity is intelligence having fun, and the main enemy of creativity is common sense. We can do better. We can do much better. And maybe sometime the surgeon will get a warning from glass before he cuts. Thank you very much.